Watch Dogs Legion in 2023. After many updates since its release, is it worth playing? Let's find out. I wanted to see whether Watch Dogs Legion is truly worth your time or not, and if it's improved the Watch Dogs formula. So I completed this game for the first time a few weeks ago, and racked up a lot of hours played. I don't want this to be a full in-depth game review, because plenty of those already exist. Instead, I will give my honest take on whether you should pick up this game in 2023 and how well it's held up. I feel like people are forgetting the Watch Dogs franchise. If you have enjoyed any of these games in the past, go ahead and give this video a like rating so we can see how many people still appreciate these games. I would hate to see this franchise die a death. So being from England, as this game is based in London, it instantly gave me a rod on, as you don't see many open world games set there for some reason. The London setting is one of the best things about Watch Dogs Legion. The futuristic feel is unique, and once again, similar to Watch Dogs 2, we have a world that does feel alive which in my opinion is super important in any open world game because of the unique setting. This game does look quite appealing in 2023. Gameplay wise, it's practically the same as the other games in the franchise, but also the complete opposite. This time, there isn't one single character you play as. Instead, you recruit random NPCs on the street and you can play through the story as anyone. It's quite a cool idea, and I love the fact it changes the formula of open world games, but it does have its drawbacks. Sadly, I was always distracted during my playthrough because 90% of the voice acting in this game is incredibly over the top, and most voices don't even match the NPC they belong to, which looks really damn weird. For example, you'll see some bloke that looks as hard as nails. When he speaks, he sounds like a weasel. We saw your handiwork at the hospital. Impressive stuff. Even if this is meant to be a joke, during the more serious parts of the game, it just looks plain dumb. Also, once you find a good operative in the game that has decent skills, such as the Hitman or Spy, you end up just playing as that one character in every mission. Most of the other NPCs you find in the game are utter dog in terms of skills when compared to a Hitman. So why would you play as anyone else? They should have added more NPCs that have decent skill sets. So what has been done to improve the Watch Dogs formula? Well, first off, profiling NPCs on the streets has expanded slightly, as you'll get more details, such as what they're good at and whether they have any special skills. This way, you can decide whether to recruit them or not. And before they join you, you need to do a few missions to persuade them. This is actually a really good idea, and it keeps you busy, but the style of missions are practically the same every time. As always, there are plenty of things to hack in this game, and killing enemies with their own turrets and drones is really damn fun. Some of these skills you can use, such as turning invisible, are also quite neat. Overall, hacking is still fun and it has a lot of nice new additions. Combat has also been expanded. Every operative is pretty much Bruce Lee. Some of the takedowns and moves look impressive, but I feel they should have added more animations. As you play throughout the game, the novelty wears off as you'll see the same animation over and over again and it actually gets annoying after a while, but at least the combat has been improved. Gunfights are also better and I never encountered any issues and it really did feel fluent throughout the whole game. The story. Oh boy, I'm going to be totally honest here. This is the weakest story of the franchise. It is so bad, I found myself skipping cutscenes halfway through the game, which I literally never do. I can't remember the last time I've done this in a game. Along with the issues described earlier with voice acting, the story is just really cliche and it wasn't able to hold my attention. The only reason I had for completing it 
was to see if it would improve down the line. Sadly, it didn't. You do not want to buy this game for the story alone. The Wrench and Aiden Bloodline DLC has a better story than the whole game. So should you play it? Honestly, if you can get this cheap, or even on the Game Pass, it's 100% worth playing. If you were a fan of Watch Dogs 2, definitely pick this up as you will appreciate the improvements that have been made to hacking and combat, and you will also be immersed in the new open world. It's also just refreshing to not play as just one character for once, but as you will see, there is drawbacks. I guess it's nice to play something that does not follow the common formula we're used to. If this was done right, this could have been one of the best open world games in years. Sadly, corners were cut. Overall, it's still enjoyable and it definitely holds up in 2023. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Watch Dogs Legion and where you rank it in the franchise. I'll be really interested to see and to find out what Saints Row is like nine months after release and whether it's worth playing or not as there has been a massive update added to the game. Just go ahead and click the card on screen to check out that video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day.